In this video, a PowerDirector 16 tutorial, I'm going to teach you the beat shake effect. This allows you to take an image or a video and shake it around the screen to the beat of the music. Great for intros, great for keeping people's attention while they watch your videos. I'm going to have a quick 15 seconds to show you what it's supposed to look like, and then I'll teach you about how to actually do it within PowerDirector 16 with this tutorial. So let's get on over there and let's check out the beat shake effect. So let's show you in PowerDirector 16 in this tutorial how to do the beat shake effect. First I'm going to need some form of video or a picture so I'm going to grab this particular video here. I'm not going to need any sound in the background so I might as well remove that. And then I'm going to need some form of music. I'll bring this down here. I don't need all that music so I'm going to actually pull this up find my spot where I can actually delete it which is right about there make sure my music is highlighted I'm gonna cut it and there I've got my video and I've got my music so really all I need to do now is to get myself the earthquake happening on the screen to the beauty of the music the um, actual effect that I'm going to use is called rocking and that's inside your FX section so if you do search for rock you'll see it come up drop that on your actual video or picture and then you're gonna see effect here you can click your effect and you'll notice I've got a frequency and I've got a strength we can play with those so let's have a look at what we've done now a little bit off it's not completely on so literally I have to play with these settings a little bit until I get it and that's a little bit better and that's all there is to it that is the um, beat shake effect where you can get an image or a video bouncing around the screen to the beat of the music and like I said all you're using is an actual FX called rock or rocking located here that you're going to drop on your image. Now don't forget once you drop the actual FX effect onto your image you're going to click effect here and then you're going to actually play with these numbers to get it the way you want and you're going to have the beat shake effect on your videos. At any rate guys if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up Got something you want to learn? Let me know. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.